Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning level 8 frame tutorial. This is our part number 98. Inside this video, we will see a concept that is how to use MySQL stored processor in Laravel application. Inside this video, we will create some stored processors and those stored processors we will consume in our application and see that how can we use inside Laravel application. So first of all, if you don't have any idea about what is MySQL stored processor, we have a separate playlist inside our channel. You can see those videos to get the complete idea about what is a MySQL stored processor and how can we create that. So inside this video, simply we will create not discussing about the basic concept of this, only we will create and use inside Laravel application. So if I back to database, right now as we know inside last video, this is the database we have created and these are the tables we have migrated. Now inside this database, we have a table called persons. Inside this table, we have few row entries. So what we'll do next, simply we will create some stored processor inside this database. Let's say that we are going to create two stored processor. The first is going to return all the data from this person's table. And the second stored processor will create that is going to return a specific user detail on the behalf of ID we will pass inside our stored processor method. So how to create? Simply if we go inside this more option. Right now we are inside this table so go inside this database first go inside this more as we can see we are getting routines option simply click on that click on add routine and here as we can see inside this type we have two options call a function and processor so we are going to create processor so click on that we need to pass our stored processor name so let's say that we are going to return all the person's detail so get person's data and for this stored processor, we don't want any parameters. So drop here, go inside this add parameter means inside this is our stored processor body. So inside this stored processor body, we will write the definition. So how to write definition? Simply let's say begin and and inside these two keywords, we will write our logic. Already I told you that to get the complete concept about MySQL stored processor, already we have a playlist. Back to browser. So here, what we want, we want to return by the help of this stored processor to return all the data from persons table. So select all from, let's say persons. So simply as you can see, we are returning all the data. Scroll down and simply what I will do, click on go button and our stored processor created. The name is something get persons data. Now if we click on execute button, as we can see that while calling this stored processor, we are getting all the data. Now next, we will create one more stored processor in which we will pass this id value and on the behalf of that id value it will return that specific row so click on add routine go here let's say get specific person data this is the name processor now inside this case we want an input parameter so direction we need to select in name let's say that person id this is the name which is type of int and length let's say 5 go inside this body section simply type the keyword begin end and in between these two keywords let's say select all from person's table where id equals to person id keep in mind this person id we will take inside this stored processor in terms of the parameter called person id all we have done go and click on go button 
simply we have created the second stored procedure now next we need to consume this stored procedure inside Laravel application so back to editor let's create few routes first go to web.php let's set a route and before that we need to use a controller so app http controllers let's say that we are going to use this home controller means we will write those two methods which consume mysql stored processor will be created inside this home controller so go to web.php home controller already imported here so let's say route get let's say list hyphen persons this is the route name and we will call home controller which is a class and inside that we will create a method something list persons now if you save this file copy this route here let's say get person and inside this route we need to pass id so let's say person id or simply let's say id now this time again we are going to call home controller and inside that let's say get specific or something let's say single person so save these changes copy this first method go to home controller let's create that public function this is the first method we had created if I copy the second method go and create it so public function and single person and inside this method we are getting a it value into the url so we need to receive that and we will receive inside this it value so first of all inside this method this method is going to return all the persons for this method we will consume the processor what we have created called get persons data now go here first of all we are going to use db class so we need to import that so use db this db class is coming from facades eliminate support facades go here and let's say that db scope resolution operator select method and inside this we will use the syntax to execute or call any stored processor with the call keyword again if you go here let's say that we want to execute this stored processor click on execute button and look at the syntax syntax is indicating that if we want to call any stored processor we need to use call keyword so simply we have used the same syntax call and after that we need to pass stored processor name so here let's say persons and simply echo let's say PRE tag and if we dump all the data to the output screen so let's say persons save these changes if we go and copy this route list hyphen persons go here and if I open into the browser now as we can see that we are getting all the users what we have inside database to list all these data we didn't use any model based concept we didn't use any query builder instead we have used the concept of mysql stored processor now next if we want to get a single person detail go here how to execute from this list first simply if we click on execute button as we know that this is stored processor is asking for an input parameter so click on execute as we can see here it is asking for person id so if we pass let's say id equals to 2 click on go so on the behalf of second id it is comparing from id column and return the second specific user and look at the syntax here we will use the call keyword after that is stored processor name and in the bracket we will pass the value so go here let's say db select and inside this we will use call keyword and 
then next we need to pass stored position name so this is the name and inside this we need to pass the id value what we are getting into the url so simply we are concatenating that putting semicolon this is single user data and if I will copy this syntax pasting inside this method only we need to change the variable save this change go here reload this page this is for listing all the users both of but for a single specific user if I copy this route go here now inside this ID placeholder we need to pass the value so let's say ID 2 and on the behalf of this second number ID we are getting our data so this is guys the tutorial for how to use MySQL stored processor in Laravel application if you want to get the complete documentation what we had studied inside this video we have an article over this blogging website if we go, go on articles Laravel 8 and search here for let's say MySQL stored processor press enter scroll down this is for code igniter 4 how can we use if I scroll down and here we have the documentation article of MySQL stored processor in Laravel 8 so if we click on this article scroll down here we had discussed the same steps what we did inside this video so this is all about a step-by-step -step article inside this blogging website. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.